Hi everyone and welcome back! I'm Juliet and welcome to my restorative yoga practice today. This practice is intended to heal, to nurture, to recover and to restore our physical body, emotional body and the mental body. Since it's a lighter version of the practice, it can be an excellent practice for the beginners. As well, it can be a wonderful practice for more advanced practitioners on the days of recovery. You can also use this flow to jumpstart your day. So let's enjoy this practice together. And as always, I will guide you through, guys, and you team will do your best. So let's begin. Alright team, we will begin standing today, so let's begin with both feet together and let's simply take the hands up front of the heart as always to set those good nurturing intentions for the practice. So let's begin here, closing our eyes, so taking a good quality inhalation, drawing attention to the belly and the slow quality exhalation again drawing attention to the belly let's set a loving nurturing kind and open intention for the practice whether you practice before or not just experiencing learning exploring so with that let's open our eyes and reach all the way up guys good and long extended arms just like you woke up this morning hopefully you do not have out of the bed right away, right? Let's take the hands behind, connect through the shoulder blades, take the chest up, very good. And let's reach up one more time in the simple soft forward fold. So let's begin by grabbing the elbows in the first forward fold, just give it a little soft rotation, soft neck, and just a little swinging movements. All right, let's take the hands back up. Use halfway through, bend those knees in the soft beginning variation of chair pose. You can definitely take those hands up front of the heart if it feels like. And let's go ahead and take the hands behind again. Shift the hips forward, take the chest up and expand guys just ready it with that heart doesn't have to be a deep back bend so let's go ahead and take the hands on the shoulders and we just do a few soft rotations through those shoulders wake up those shoulder joints lubricate them just a few this direction and the few opposite direction all the way up back forward include some chest mm -hmm. good job guys let's go ahead and take the hands and interlace them take the hands behind open up the heart and give it a soft rotation through the spine through the bottom through the base of your back and take it slowly back keep the elbows guys outside keep the tall and neutral soft back and all the way return it back to the front now let's expand the movements let's give a shoulders a little bigger wider in border moves and let's go ahead and explore and rotate to the other direction very nice let's go ahead and reach up and grab those elbows guys lengthen in the spine connect with your mat and give it a little lateral bend we're gonna hold it for the few breaths and then switch to the other side. Hold it for the few breaths and switch that to the other side. Let's go a little bit more dynamically. So today we're working on the psoas muscles. Of course, as always, it's a total body practice, right? But we're making an accent on the psoas muscles. The muscles are connecting the bottom of your back running towards the largest bones in the body, towards the thigh bones, which is responsible. Let's take it flexion forward for the flexion and rotation of the hips and 
flexion, entire trunk, hip trunk, all the way, and backwards, and a couple more times, forward. So we're working essentially on the hips, on the motion in the hips, getting the hips stronger, more flexible, more open, so we can practice forever. Great work, guys. Let's open up. Big press, big sweep, coming up on the tippy toes, all the way, step wider, and we're gonna go for the little squat on the toes. Now, if that is a little bit too much, take your hands on the floor, keep our breathing, and forward, fold, wide, leggy stand, relax the neck. Let's look halfway, and work again to the squat. This time, see if you can have Heels on the floor as a malasana squat or garland pose. If not, hold the heels elevated. Relax your neck. It doesn't have to be a full deep forward fold. Support yourself and stay on the toes or full malasana garland squat. Let's do a couple more. Inhalation, exhalation. Slowly waking up the back, waking up the heart, the shoulders we already did the hips, and then we're gonna move on the floor. Little standing warm up today. Great job. Let's go ahead and take the right hand on the floor, guys, or on the ground, and reach up and open. Just give it a good quality opening through the side. You can bend your right knee as well, and open up more towards the left. Then do the left hand full or fingertips, open up and rotate towards the right, very important, guys, not to overly rotate the shoulders, right? Keep it nice and open, but within a reason. And you can bend your left knee to go a little bit deeper. We start to activate our psoas muscles. Again, the muscle runs from the last vertebra in your spine, the last few vertebra in the lumbar back over the thigh bone. Slowly come on back up, reach all the way. All right, and we will make our way gently on the floor. So wherever you are right now, I will meet you guys on the ground. So, so you see a little bit better. Let's settle down in that malasana squat, gentle malasana squat. And we're just going to take the hands up front around the spine. Relax your neck, very good. And gently land, guys, on the floor. Take your one foot inside and grab your other foot. So simply hold the knee band until you can lengthen in the back. And then slowly using the strap or towel, gently extend it to the half-seated straddle or half-seated angle, upright angle, we also call it. Keep on breathing. <laughs> Very good, guys. Slowly, gently put it down and fold forward towards the extended leg. So the important thing is to sit leveled on the boss sit bone. So it doesn't have to be super low forward fold, but try to level the shoulders and fold nicely forward. So it doesn't have, again, to be a really deep forward fold. Just fold forward through through the spine, through the belly, layering the belly down and gently return back. Let's do the same from the other side. Again, open up, half seated upright angle, or sometimes we call it upright straddle pose, a half one, the half one. And keep on breathing, keep on reaching. Very good. And let's land this left leg all the way. Draw the hips out, the glutes out. Make sure you sit it nice and level and gently fold forward to that other leg. So again, guys, it doesn't have to be a super deep fold, but it has to be the quality one. Longer, extended back. Mm -hmm. Focusing on the relaxation through the hip flexor. Mm -hmm. And let's gently pick this up. Open up both legs. We're ready for the wide-seated angle or wide-seated straddle, leg straddle. 
and we're going to alternate a little ridges. So we're gonna take and reach the left over the right. You can support yourself with the other hand on the floor, just like this. Or you can actually go ahead and reach a little bit more open. Just make sure it feels right on your hips and on your back. Mm -hmm. All the way. Very nice. And another one. Let's go ahead and reach all the way up. Big breaths. And we will begin by sitting up here. We will come back to this a little bit later after the torso rotation and the deer pose. But right now, we're just going to do this. If that is unavailable, then stay, guys, on your hands. Please do not do this. Doesn't make any sense. So if it's up right here, that is okay, right? If you can go a little bit deeper, this is great. But we don't want to rush that body. We're working slowly with respect. Mm -hmm. Take a few breaths and then let's gently pull our left leg inside, right outside. So we're going to take them a little bit wider of the base of the body. And we will take the torso, the upper body, all the way up front. You can feel right away the good stretch and a good connection in your hips. Take a little time to sit upright straight. And if it feels right, then we're going to go ahead and rotate a little bit looking towards the right shoulder. So the right foot is behind. So we're looking towards the right shoulder. That's good. Very nice, Tim. Gently take it back to the center. All we're going to do, we're going to move feet a little bit closer. And that's going to put us to the deer pose. I want you to do a few side to side soft movements through the base of the pelvic floor and through the lumbar back, through the lower back. And then simply fold forward again, just on your elbows. Or if you can fold through the hip flexor, all the way down. We're not going to spend here a lot of time. We're just going to breathe for a few breaths. And then we're going to move to the other side. Excellent. Come on back, guys. Let's switch the direction, right? Let's switch the direction. So let's go ahead and take the right inside, left outside. We're going to try to open them a little bit wider to begin with. Give it some time to level your body, level the shoulders, and sit upright and straight. And when it feels right, we're going to look, go ahead and take a rotation towards the left side, towards the back leg, guys. So towards the back. So my left leg is behind. So I'm looking behind the left side of my body. Doesn't have to be necessarily behind the shoulder, but a decent soft rotation through the hip flexor, lower back, pelvic floor in general. Take it all the way back. And all we're gonna do, we're gonna move both feet closer, guys, closer to the base of the body. So you can remain up here. You can start with me, do a few soft, gentle rotations to the side, opening the body. And then after that, stay upright, team, or fold forward on your elbows or fully relaxing, diving towards the ground. Take your time, team. Don't worry about the perfection. We're just practicing getting, learning our body, experiencing, exploring, so we can start to heal it, make it stronger, more flexible, and live long and beautiful and healthy lives. All right, now let's go ahead, move to the center. We're gonna do a few rolling motions for our back, and then we're gonna stretch the feet and work again on the soles muscles today. So go ahead and grab those knees and just give it a few toes rotations. Just a few. It's really important, guys, here not to roll on your neck, it's very dangerous. Just a gentle massage. Mm -hmm. 
very good let's do one more it feels very good and then come on up on those feet nice job guys i want you to hop a little bit farther so you have a long extended mat and in up front of you so i'm gonna land my right knee and sit on my right foot tuck the toes that could be truly uncomfortable if your toes are not ready but i really need you to use the blocks or your fist and release some tension some pressure from that foot otherwise if you can sit up here we're going to take the hands up front of the heart and just hold it for the few breaths at least through the nose in through the nose out and then let's go ahead and move that extended leg foot towards the front stretch it say sit back again relax release see if you can lift the knee work a little bit up here then straight again work a little bit up here very nice let's go ahead and switch the legs so begin with sitting on that one foot might not be comfortable so you would have to use the face guys or you would have to use your blocks please do not avoid this don't just lay the feet flat we gotta work on it so in order for it to get better so if you are able to sit up here then go ahead and find the seated position great job and we're going to lift the hips bring some weight on the feet and then roll it back do it just a couple more times and then if it's getting well then go ahead and lift the knee again forward lift the knee again forward be very careful go ahead and take those knees on the floor spread them a little bit wider and we're gonna do a few arm lifts take the hands together put it all the way up lift and push the hips forward expand take the heart up draw the hands up front of the forehead reach up and open and draw the hands up front bring the navel in push the hips up and forward last one all the way very good job guys we will slowly move towards our seated angle but this time we will try to get a bind behind if it's not available i just will want you to move from side to side then to the front creating more space in the hips if you can find the bind and connection then we're going to start to bring the belly to one side on exhalation to the other side very good in through the nose out through the nose one side in through the nose out through the nose other side and it's time to hold it a little bit longer so we can experience that therapeutic restoring effect of the asana so go ahead and just dive in just for the couple breaths two three breaths very good and we will do it from the other side mm -hmm. and all the way back reach the heart up and fold all the way forward now you don't have to have guys those hands connected if it doesn't flow it doesn't flow for today be very mindful very mindful remember we work on the soles muscles in the hips that's where the muscle runs from the base of your spine from the bottom vertebra towards the longest bone the strongest bone in your body the thigh bone give it a few breaths Mm -hmm. and then gently return back guys go ahead and pull those legs together we will begin up here holding it on the floor one leg at a time extension or if you're ready you can bend your knees lift the heart keep that nice and tall spine or if it feels very good go ahead and progress to the full seated upright struggle straddle or the angle how we call it Shoulders down, heart up, breathe actively, guys. Breathe and enjoy that life floating through that beautiful body. 
We need that body to be healthy and functioning well, otherwise nothing is matter in this life, unfortunately. Keep on breathing, guys. Let's go ahead and move to the little modified boat. Bend your one knee. If you need that other leg on the floor, please do that. Take the hands in front of the heart and slowly rotate towards the bent knee, outside, outside rotation. Keep that body strong, the core strong. Keep the strength in the hips. And exhalation, switch, guys. Heart up and open. And soft rotation to the other side. Keep on breathing. Very good. Let's do it one more time. If you need to take a break, team, and land that leg on the floor, please do it. It's going to be very hard to hold those without breathe. breathing. You have to breathe and let's switch. Actively inhalation through the nose, exhalation through the nose. Don't shake, guys. Follow the breath. Slowly release it all the way on the floor. Big reach and forward fold. Exhalation. Seated forward fold. Not only very therapeutic for the back, but for the hips. So it's important not to overdo it. If you have a back injury, bend your knees. Do it with your knees bent. For more advanced, if you have a very flexible hips and back, I want you to definitely press the bottom of your kneecaps into the ground and keep on stretching. If that feels very good, then flex your feet, point the toes towards the face. It's gonna give you that extra straightening on the hamstring, Achilles, and even quadricep. Few more breaths, guys. Whew. Feels so good. Come on back up, all the way through. Now, we're going to bend our knees, lay down on the floor, take the hands all the way, connect in behind, just like you, looking at the blue sky, set your both feet, hips width apart, swing those knees all the way on the right side, or whichever you like more, we're gonna do both. Take a good breath, close your eyes, spend the one or two breaths up here, and then slowly, Bring your left foot on top on the right quadricep, right on top above your knee. If that is not there, then just put it wherever you can put it. Close your eyes again, fix the shoulders, make sure your body is comfortable right there. And then gently bring the feet back, swing them to the other side. Take a good Inhalation, exhalation, close your eyes, imagine the skies, the beach, wherever you want. And then after a few breaths, we're going to go ahead and put the left on top, on, I mean right on top on the left knee. It could be a little bit lower, or try to follow me. Heart up and open. Very nice. We're giving those hips a little bit rest. And let's go ahead and take it back. Take your both feet up. Put your hands inside. Press right on top. Give it a good quality relaxation. Breath in, breathe in, breathe out. Happy baby pose or Ananda Balasana. Slowly crisscross cross your ankles. Press gently on top. And then gently switch. Press on top again. And let's make our way all the way up to the seated position. Let's reach, guys. Up and open. Draw everything you want to draw inside that heart, inside that body. Close your eyes for the breath or two. Make sure you connect, you reconnect with yourself, mind, body, and true self together. All is one. Be present on your mat. Be present in your life. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Come back soon and we will explore everything together. Namaste.